Hello, my name is Sean. I'm in my mid-30s and I have a confession. Never in my life have I ever had a Cracker Barrel breakfast sandwich. I'm obsessed with this super dog sweatshirt. You guys, hello and welcome back to Sean's first time eating in my life. I've probably been to Cracker Barrel three times and I have never ordered the breakfast sandwich. That's a place where I've only ever eaten in there. That's a place where you go and you get a smattering of it all. Like you eat literally 2,000 calories worth of everything they sell. <laughs> and that's just how it goes, and it's like $7. Uh, today, I saw they had a breakfast sandwich. This is perfect for Shawnee Fucking sandwiches. I love a sandwich. I love a breakfast sandwich. There's very little things in this world that give me more joy than a BS. Acronyms. One of those stores, one of those places you drive by in the expressway, pretty much no matter where you live, you see the gigantic signs sticking up in the air for all to see. I'm on my way back to Chicago. I did a very quick in and out, less than 24 hours stop in Metro Detroit. Uh, went to a concert, a Keith Urban concert. It was fantastic. If you don't like country music, I totally get it, and he's barely country, but man, can that guy play the damn guitar. For my money, right now, I think he's one of the best electric guitar players who's making music. You don't have to like his lyrics, you don't have to like Keith Urban at all. The dude can wail. And my mom loves him, so we always go and see him. Hi. <laughs> For setting expectations, I don't think this is gonna be good. It can't be good. Also, it was like $9 for the sandwich. Um, this is what it looks like, I haven't looked at it yet. Oh wow, and it's in the sun. Oh, this is not looking great. <laughs> I kind of got this as a bit, because I didn't want to eat like stuff you needed to eat with a fork, really. Is that like untoasted, just bre floppy bread, tomatoes, two of the like saddest little smoked sausage patties, cheese looking good, and then look at these little hash browns. This is a build maneuver. <laughs> I need coffee for this. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's not it's just literally white bread. Oh, this is like fire fest. Remember that? Okay, I'm gonna need can I do this without a fork? Try to like slide this on here, is that possible? Alright, that's slid up. Let's crank this down so you guys can see a little bit better maybe. I put these sausage patties like so. And then I'm definitely gonna put hash browns on the sandwich. Look at this, even on the road trip. Don't forget to bring a towel. Never forget to bring a towel. How many salt and pepper packets in these condom, in these cutlery packages get thrown away a year? Somebody, somebody find that number and text me. <laughs> all right, let's try these. Oh my God, never mind. Look at it. it it's all one unit. <laughs> let's just put the whole thing on the sandwich and kind of smash it down. Oh my God, I didn't think I was gonna try it. Only one little piece fell off. Look at this. It's cold. <laughs> floppy. I need two men on this. That's what she said. No time, but she did. No time! Okay. Sometimes the food content is just funny. We do it for humor. It's the morning and I kind of still wanted to get like their fried chicken. <laughs> it just looked kind of good. This might actually be kind of a fire thumbnail as long as I don't drop this. Look what I built. There's tomato along the back there. But look what I built. I built this for you. Cop it a lean, dude. Don't cop a lean. Stay still. Stay comfortable. Comfortable? All right, the Cracker Barrel breakfast sta sandwich for $9. I'm in Battle Creek, Michigan. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, okay, oh, there's... <laughs> it's that mayonnaise? Am I eating mayonnaise? Inside there, they had the checkerboard that Eric and I had as kids. Literally, it's like a rug or a blanket 
and then the pieces, it's the exact same one. They still sell it. And a bunch of stupid maize and blue stuff. Okay, two farm fresh eggs served on seared sourdough bread. Is it though? With tomato and Duke's mayo. Plus your choice of fried apples or hash brown casserole. Yeah, I put the uh, hash brown casserole on the sandwich. Uh, Duke's mayo, I knew there was some something tasty about this. I mean, it's a big ass sandwich, especially if you put those casserole on there. $9, I mean this is a lot of food. This is like all the things you need just piled onto one, <laughs> one go. Casserole falling off, see ya. Hash brown casserole is kind of fire. It's got like cheese mixed in. This is not bad. This is like not, I wish they'd use like a bun and just do the breakfast sandwich up. Like make it a sandwich. I kind of don't love when like breakfast sandwiches just use like regular toast. So yesterday morning, I got up at like six in the morning. I drove straight from Chicago to Clarkston, Michigan, which is where Pine Knob Music Theater is. At this exact time last year, we were in Putten Bay, Ohio for Keith Urban. Keith's first concert in like since the pandemic, and one year later, we're in Clarkston, Pine Knob, with my mom, who since I've seen her last, got really jacked. I <laughs> just started working oh. out like, yeah, can, you, can you flex for us? <laughs> there, look, show that, no, show the bicep, do this. There we go, there it is. So we're in downtown Clarkston. Chris McKella, dear friend, suggested honcho. So today for food, honcho. Met up with Eric yeah, nice and his fiance Megan, and my mom, obviously. The tropical town of Clarkston, Michigan, known for their garitas. You don't need to go to major cities to get incredible food like that. I mean, that was unbelievable. Have you guys ever, been, anyone that's familiar with that area, you need to go there instantly. <laughs> So I got a bangin' fish taco, I got the Wisconsin cheese curd taco, and then the waitress actually talked me into a Brussels sprout taco, I know, I know. But she was very convincing, and it was very good. We got a flight of salsas, they were all super spicy, so we all like, tried the hottest one. She starts doing this. Hot. <laughs> there is like a, a very strong after heat. It like slowly burns your it, huh? it's, hot, it's hot. It warms your oh, whole wow. body up. It's got like smoky. Yeah. Yeah, smoky. Wow. That's a good word. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you look like the Undertaker there with your eyes. <laughs> wow, that really kicks the throat. <laughs> Yeah, good dip. Oh, that's a huge one. We all took that one. It's probably not going to be hot for you. Smoky. Gritty. That's so mild. That's so mild. The place was gorgeous. I just couldn't get over it. I got a little kayaking in for a few uh, after that. Burn off some cows. <laughs> Try to soberize myself after the two two pitchers of margaritas. Then we went and tailgated in Pine Knob's parking lot. Name three green foods. Asparagus, spinach, uh, zucchini, um, lettuce. Bracky. Some people throw bags before uh, concerts. We're playing five second rule. Anybody else play five second rule? Of course he had to name vegetables because that's where we're at in the night. <laughs> Played some five second rule. It's a great little drinking game. Uh, my mom made a saran wrap. Like remember how the holiday saran wrap game got really popular? My mom made one for the tailgate in the finale, the final prize. You ever played the saran wrap game and got a pre-roll? <laughs> Mother of the year. Cannabis being legalized in Michigan, mwah. And then Keith just slayed. Like it was just a great show. Dude just did a million guitar solos. Shot off confetti everywhere. We had a great time. It was a family fun night. Bye Pine Knob. Thanks for being great. Bye Pine Knob. I went through a metal detector that did nothing. <laughs> this mater is covered in mayo. Not a bad tomato. I don't think I've ever done a there and back to Detroit it, like that that quick in my life. Like literally we'll be back in Chicago in basically less than 24 hours that I left. I was excited to make this video because I was deciding where to stop real quick for food on the way back. I haven't had Cracker Bro in so many years. I feel like the people here that are watching this video will have very like strong opinions on Cracker Barrel. Like you either love it, you hate it, you used to go there as a kid, go with your grandparents, go to the little general store and get little trinkets, play that game on the table where you gotta hop the pegs and try to get like the least amount of pegs remaining, the triangle game. 
triangle. But what are the best things to get? Like, what do you get? Do you still go there? Is there like a sleeper item on the menu that like the next time I roll through I need to get? Is there stuff I should stay away from? Like, let's talk Cracker Barrel below. Give me your nostalgia, give me your whatever. And if you've never been there or you have no nostalgia, tell me that too. I'm like truly curious to kind of like survey the crowd. Survey says? Make breakfast, survey said. Nice. Yeah. Kinda wanna just try this sausage. That is smoky. I wish for the breakfast sandwich though, they would do one big sausage. This is clearly like a breakfast sandwich was just thrown on the menu because they have the stuff to make it. They didn't like make a breakfast sandwich and that's very apparent. I saw you could get American cheese or I think it said Colby. I also wanna shout out Justin Ross, John D. Hopeful Lee, Quint Nelson, Quint Nelson again, Joey New Rage, Miscellaneous Moon, well I can't talk, Miscellaneous, Dan Rogers, John D again, Justin Brown, you guys thank you so much for all of these super thanks. It means the absolute world to me. You get a shout out if you do it as well you guys, but man, seeing all those roll in, the Super Dog video was so much fun, wasn't it? That one, I hope Chris sees that video. That was a blast. How much more of a drive do I have? It would take me two days to walk, two hours and 40 minutes. Damn it! This is one of those things that's like, not good, but it's not bad at all. It's just very much like doing what it needs to do. <laughs> it's a workhorse sandwich. Put in the hours, bringing home a paycheck, putting food on the table, gas in the tank, maybe doing your taxes correctly, maybe. I ate the whole thing. Biggest regret of the night last night, I didn't get a soft pretzel from Pine Knob. Trunk to skunk, the best event soft pretzel in the game. If you ever go to Pine Knob and you're hungry, get the soft pretzel. They're massive, they're almost like Bavarian. It's a big bag. Since I didn't get anything from the general store, should I just keep this bag, the old country store? Should I keep this bag? Who is this gentleman? Anybody know him? Distinctive carry out bags. 800996 bags. <laughs> you got to, you know. When you're getting like a number as a business, do you like how do you do that? Do you like call someone and you're like, "Hey, I really want my like last four four numbers like on the keyboard on the on the numerical, you get it to spell out bags." And they're like, "Yeah, no, we we can accommodate you, no problem." Like <laughs> what's that process like? 555 laws for like a defense attorney. All right, let's get gas and get out of here. Get back on 94 West. <laughs> Wait, is that West? Yeah. Look at this artsy shot. Uh-oh, here comes a car showing movement in the shot. Damn, that's a way too nice of a car to be going out of a Cracker Barrel. It is really nice getting gas like in Battle Creek. It was only like, it's 364 for unlimited. Unlimited? Unlimited. <laughs> Mr. Unlimited. Yeah, you gotta be unlimited. You know, you gotta have a thought process of being unlimited. Is Russell Wilson gonna like make the playoffs on the Broncos? Um, unleaded is 364, 369, 364. Chicago, it's like 580. <laughs> and I don't have a very big car or anything. I always love when Quint Nelson donates and just goes here for your gas, dude. And I'm like, that is the kindest thing. Thank you. Because paying for gas is such a kick in the nuts. And I'm putting it mildly. Get rid of the evidence. Guys, if anybody's wondering, this shell station is giving back to kids in need, according to the screen on the pump. I just want to say thanks once more for watching the vlog and caring so much and just being here for the ride. This is fun. It's fun checking in with you guys, talking to everybody in the comments and DMs and emails and stuff. It's really fun. I'm gonna get another fall trip to Michigan soon to knock out some other reviews and fun food things I want to do in my hometown. Um, that'll be coming soon. What are the chances the shell has a not an awful bathroom? Fingers crossed. I had to get the key on the board. <laughs> This skyline never gets old coming home too. Every single time, I just love it. Do I love the traffic? No. But the skyline, past this truck, gorgeous. I'm gonna call it there. Have a good rest of the day. Back to the Chicago vlogs again tomorrow. Ready?